Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is yours truly once again. Well, just been thinking about some things while I'm out here walking. As you can see, it's a pretty peaceful morning for me. As you can hear. Um, you know, to me, game is not absolute. It is only relative. Now, you got some guys out here trying to make game seem like it's absolute. You know, they'll say things like, Life is a game, the game of life. But you know, the funny thing is, is that everything that they're saying is void of love. You know, there, there's no love. So in essence, they're saying that life is a game and that it's about the game of life instead of saying that life is love and you got to have the love of life. But you know, that's just the world that we live in now, you know. Uh, People have replaced love for game. You know, how game is relative for me, if one may ask. Well, because, you know, I can relate to game, but game isn't absolute to me. I can relate to it. What I mean by how I can relate to game is I've dealt with those who play games on me. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't matter what gender, whether the feminine or the masculine. You know, but these are people who didn't think about love. They didn't have that kind of love for me. So, but they had a lot of games they wanted to play on me. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather say it that way than to say playing games with me because I wasn't trying to play games with them. You know, this wasn't a agreement. <laughs> we wasn't playing on a ball court together. No, they, they was playing games on you. You know what I'm saying? And I get this whole idea of player hater, right? Because these are for people who are playing the game and somebody's hating the way that you play. Now, like I said, going back to this idea that, uh, you know, some people have changed this idea of love and life to, you know, the game of life. And some people have love for the game of life. You know, everything is void of love. To me, anything that's void of love is hate. I mean, go figure. You got the statement out there. Don't hate the player, hate the game. You know? He can't really say hate love. No. Wouldn't make sense. Because people who are really about love ain't trying to be players. And they're not about games. You know? The thing that's so frustrating about the Western world is that everybody has kind of evolved to this game complex. I won't even say game mindset. It's just a complex in your mind. You made things that more complex in your mind. But we live in an artificial society. And I'll be talking more about this artificial society in the upcoming video. Yeah, you'll know more about the artificial society that we live in today. To where it is all about game. And just to be able to have relations with the opposite gender you know you gotta have game wow what about you gotta have love where did that go all of a sudden you can't have love you gotta have game you know but like i said it's just the mindset of a lot of people who've kind of decided to live in this artificial society you know for me like i said game talk is matrix talk you know i can understand about these things there's nothing wrong with understanding about these things. That's all part of you understanding the matrix that you came from. The game that you came from. But that doesn't mean you have to be a part of it. And just like with Neo, you go back into the matrix in order to destroy it. In order to disrupt it. And you got to do that with game. It's not that you go back into the matrix just with better understanding of game so you can, you know, use game to your advantage. No, you, you come there with this idea that you have a greater power that surpasses game. And if you don't believe in that power, it'll never be truly a part of you. You know, um, it, it's something that should flow effortless. So, you know, I've never been the type to spit game. I've always been the type to speak truth. And to me, truth is love. It's not about speaking the truth in love. Truth is love, you know. 
So I've been all about speaking the truth about this game, you know? Uh, so I'd say on the flip side, if someone try to say, well, how can you speak love about the game? If one asks you that, well, the only, the only thing I can really say about that is, um, uh, I'd say for those who got stuck up in this idea of what game is, I only speak love about those who got caught up in the game. But just going back to what I just initially said, maybe it's better that I just say speak the truth in love instead of just saying the truth is love. To me, the truth is love. But with a lot of the English grammatical some of it just doesn't make sense <laughs> but i think the best way to put this is um you speak the truth and hopefully within you is love with the truth that you're speaking you know because some people can speak the truth about the game instead you know I guess, like I said, uh, if you go back to anything that I've said and if anything kind of resonates to you, the only love that I will speak about the game is, like I said initially, just uh, just now. Uh, it's more or less about telling you how you don't need the game in your life like that. You know, I know enough of the game to tell you how much you don't need it. I can say that much, you know. And I think it's important for people to understand that in this life. You see nature before you. There's no game. This is life. But these buildings, these apartments, now that's part of game, okay? That's part of game. But that's part of the artificial society that I'll talk about in the next video. Let me know what y'all think about this video here let me know in the comment section below oh and by the way yeah if this is your first time here at this channel and you like my type of content just hit the subscribe button i'd appreciate that hit the like button click the notification bell to get all of my uploads in real time and if you ever want to reach out to me all my information is in the about section on my homepage here at this channel. Signing out.